October day one. <laughs> Look who it is, little. Yay, it's Vlogtober, everybody. Get ready. It's gonna be an exciting month. So we're about 15 minutes outside of San Antonio. I mentioned a while back that we were planning to come to San Antonio for a little visit. So that's what we're doing for the first few days of October. And my mom's not seen San Antonio ever. You've never gone, right? No, we're gonna take you all on the river walk and I wanna see the Alamo. Yeah. Just so I can say that I've been there. So we're gonna have a great time. So we're about 15 or so minutes from from where we're headed next. But I thought I would introduce the vlog. I um we actually have to stop at a gas station because I had a contact lens malfunction so I'm looking at you all with one eye right now. <laughs> um, so I have to pop in a new contact lens but that's what's going on and on the way up here, um, so book update. Yesterday I finished A Little Life. Oh god, that was very, very good um, but a part of me is glad I'm, I'm finished with it because it was painful to read, painful reading, just so sad. Um, I really wondered what the story was with the uh, with the main characters that that one awful boyfriend that that abused him. And they never told that that character's backstory. I'm wondering what it was because uh, there had to be a reason why he was so awful. Um, if you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, we you naturally hate him because he's such a deplorable character. But um, I wondered. Like what made him that way. He alluded to something with his parents being shifty. Take exit 581 onto I-410 and TX 30. Siri telling us telling us everything we need to know in life. But um, on a lighter note, we I picked up this uh, from the library my, a copy of Little Fires Everywhere. Some, one of, several of you have recommended this book, and I've seen it. And when it first came out, it was very popular. Um, I was intrigued by it. So I've been reading that out loud, and it's it's a very light, re you know, entertainment so far. It's cute so far. I'm really enjoying it. What do you think? It's nostalgic too. Yeah. It keeps bringing up things that, from long ago, even though it's not from long ago. But it, I don't know. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, like they talked about having an antenna on cell phones. That I remember yeah. having an antenna on my cell phone. Exactly. <laughs> and they talked about D. Yeah, Delia's. Yeah. And yeah, I remember you used to get that. Yep. Um, what else? I kind of want to have that neighborhood, the way they described it. Shaker Heights. Yeah, it's so planned out. It reminded me of something from another book that I had read. But um, yeah, maybe the Truman Show. I don't know. What yeah. It reminds me of the intro to that show that was popular on Weeds a while ago. Weeds. That was popular on oh. HBO. Start out ticky tacky of little right houses in, in a row and an eagle row in a box. But um, yeah, it's it's entertaining so far. Um, I'm interested to know what the deal is with the the fire, the house burning down. Yeah, yeah, we'll find that out. I think. Yeah. So, Tybee, we had to deposit at um at his uh, doggy camp. And he likes it there. He was excited to um, to go. He didn't even look behind as we were leaving. No, he was like, "I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hang on, doggy, 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 doggy." Mom is uh, decked in her <laughs> festive wear, wearing blue. Here at the. Oh, look how nice. <laughs> Came here years ago. You can get a little boat, <laughs> I guess.
we're coming here for lunch to get table side guacamole. So we got really prime seating here by the water for our guacamole lunch. My mom matches the uh, the decor. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's perfect weather out. We've got some companions down here, yeah. mom and dad. The ducks. <laughs> so, you can eat out here. This is a good time to come in mid-afternoon during the week. It's not crowded. No turistas. <laughs> It's good to leave southern drive Yeah. Of course it comes, they've already brought an epic cone of chips. How are the chips? Good? They're very light. Yeah. I was reading on, I have this problem with Quora, as you guys know, the that website I'm always reading articles on. Yeah. And I, well, I don't know how accurate it is, but I was reading, um, people's responses to what happens to all of the uneaten tortilla chips from uh, Mexican restaurants. And I think they just throw them away, which is quite sad. Come on, let me... <laughs> My mom got a beer. Do you want me to pour it in the glass for you? Oh, no, it's okay. I can hold it. Okay. I, I was going to say some people prefer the bottle. That's why. <laughs> you will? My kind of lady. <laughs> but when we got here, I had a bit of a panic attack. <laughs> I took my yes, hair down yeah. and I couldn't find my hair claw and I can't stand having my hair down for prolonged periods of time. And uh, so I was frantically looking all in the car, I looked in the trunk, I would gotten out to replace my contact ones and we ended up stopping at a Denny's and I went to the bathroom there. Um, and I retraced my steps, I didn't leave it in the bathroom and then I almost gave up, went to put my seatbelt on and I had hooked it onto the But I, yeah, I just reapplied sunscreen, so the idea of coming outside with potentially the wind blowing my hair on a freshly sunscreened face, not a, not a good look. <laughs> my mom is trying to figure out how to get her notes back. She, her iPhone mysteriously ate one of her notes that has like some little handy information. That happened to me at once, and I was really uh, livid because I used to take notes during lectures on the i on iNotes, yeah. and then I lost a bunch of them during some kind of cloud catastrophe. The cloud puzzles me. I, I, can I don't make know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so be a quarter of orange, half a lime. It's a signature oh, recipe. Oh, wow. We're having a little table side cooking demo here. One whole ripe avocado, got a winner. A little kosher salt. That's good. I don't like a lot of salt. <laughs> Chop this up in bite sized pieces. Some lime. Orange as well. Yeah. Well, how do you get that so juicy? You put it in the microwave? We don't have microwaves here. No, it's just a juicy orange. Spoonful of cilantro, is that okay? Yeah, that's great. Also have the Bermuda onion as well, is that fine? It's a little sweeter than the red onion. And then we have the fire roasted Roma tomatoes and serrano peppers. Fire roast these over a mesquite pecan wood grill. Gives off like a southwest smoke flavor to the tomatoes and the peppers. It's not hot. Well, I couldn't cancel it. It's mild. If you'd like some serranos, top off. Yeah, that'd be great. They're hot, so is this okay? Yeah. We like spice, yeah. You like spice? Yeah, that's good. I think that'll be surprise. I don't want to burn y'all's palate. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. Wow! Thank you. It's gorgeous. Y'all enjoy, ladies. Oh, we will. Made it myself.
Boy, that's a real uh, job hazard, like squeezing that li all that lime yeah. juice out here in the sun. You can get that dermatitis. Yeah, uh, yeah, phytophotodermatitis. Hopefully he he's all right. <laughs> Dig in. We, we need a, a first impression. How's your beer? Very good. Yeah, we passed through Shiner. We did. That's we stopped at a gas station, it. yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, you want to dig in first? You have a bite. Tell us how right, it tastes. Let's see. Yeah, we can let it kind of marry it. Yeah. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah. Smoky. Oh, good. I like smoky. <laughs> it's a touristy thing to do, but <laughs> why not? Good. Nature does all the work, though. As cute as he was, it must uh, largely uh, Mother Nature delivers the taste. It's kind of hard to screw up an avocado. Yeah, I'll say. But I like the addition of orange to it. That's yeah. Something I didn't know about. And the smoky peppers. We're not getting anything. We just came in here because it's kind of hot and we wanted to cool off in the air conditioning. We're at the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Look at that apple. Deli. Well, what did you think of the river walk? It's everything I thought it would be. Yeah, a river in which you can walk along. And, uh, it's very pretty down in there. Yeah, it's nice. And then here's the Alamo, which we're going to see next. <laughs> The Alamo, ooh, ooh, this guy just took a huge topple. Poor man. People are coming to help him, that's good. I won't film him. Thing like falling down and being filmed. Did you see that man? Yes, Poor man I fell? Did. He was very agile. Oh, though. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's on even ground here. I, I can see how that would happen. Look, it's a pecan tree, your favorite. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so big. Wow. Well, you know me and any nuts. <laughs> I'm not in any setting is fine with me. So here we have doctors at the Alamo. This is interesting. Armies on campaign must care for their sick and wounded. So this is where the wounded soldiers came. Yes, cool. Like a little bed there. <laughs> it's quite small. It's not a. Uh, what's that mattress that everybody talks about? The one that comes in a box or whatever? <laughs> it's long before the days of that. Of course, I have to come into the gift shop. Come and take it. I like these hats. That's a nice apron. Looks like something my mom would enjoy. <laughs> There's my mom, looking like a blue bonnet. <laughs> Did you uh, eavesdrop on the uh, on no, the guided I just tour? Stumbled over here. Um, let's go up to go in the actual oh, That's a nice hat. Uh -huh. Let's come over here and see what they have. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. You leeches. So cool. Huh? Oh, wow. That's neat. The, st the story. 
Okay. It's neat. What's up? Watch the snail comes. Here's how it starts out. And then... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Wait, you go too fast. Oh, wow, yeah. It, it changed, changed to, to mauve. mauve color from That's interesting. This. What did the sparkly ones do? Oh. Let me mix it up. Is it turning pinky? It's a yellow. Oh, a yellow. Gold, oh, gold, look at that. Yellow. That's pretty. I also have a sunscreen. I have just a chemical sunscreen. It's, I wonder what it looks like. I'm going to put some on my arm. Wait. That's a 50. Mm -hmm. this is water resistant. All right. The sunscreen? Oh, not the sunscreen. I'm sorry. Oh, got it. Yeah, because she put some on and she was waiting for it to change. It smells really good, though. I'm sure it has uh, fragrance this in it. This is not. Oh, yeah, it has fragrance. It smells like coconut. Look at this one. Watch. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that is cool. We cut through this shopping mall to go to the bathroom and take advantage of the air conditioning and cloud shade cover. <laughs> I'm going in the Disney store. I want to see these animator dolls that they have. I want to see if they're as cute as they look like. They, they look really cute on Etsy. Those are nice. Oh look, they have a Nightmare Before Christmas. That's cute. Hi. Oh, thank you. Remember when you got me the uh, uh, Lady in the Tramp mug? Yeah. Christmas stuff. I don't see. Oh, it's Marie. Oh, you found them. Yeah, on Etsy they have, um, you can get custom um, cute little outfits for them. I think they're really nice dolls. I think they're really nice. The little ones are sweet. Look at her little face. They're almost as cute as uh, Blythe dolls, but they're, their faces are really nice. We will be highlighting oh, certain chapters of Mickey's history. We'll have a mix of artists where we will have our uh, kind of contemporary which one is art. I can't wait for you guys to see what we've been working on. I think that's Elsa, maybe? I'm, you know, I'm so behind on Disney, but not. Have to ask who it is. Anna, Elsa, whatever. The frog, maybe so. Yeah, Look at the cute little dress. <laughs> the magic of Disney. <gasps> oh, what is this Christmas movie? Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. The oh, I want to see that. Preview to Vlogtober excitingness, uh, vlogmas excitingness. <gasps> oh, that looks good. Or they're making it look good. The land of the sweet. Oh, that actually looks good. Because Beauty and the Beast was good. I enjoy Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yes. And Maleficent was really good, too. Oh, yeah. Be careful who you trust. I've been expecting you. It is on. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. No, Maleficent was the movie that, that it's the same people who made Maleficent. And... <laughs> is Morgan Freeman in it? Yeah. And it's Morgan Freeman, the Mouse King, who I made. He's the Nutcracker Prince. Oh. Ooh. November 2nd. We'll have to go see that. Yeah. Oh, yes. We need to make that a ride at Disney. That looks like Ty B. Okay, we have some 
Halloween soundtrack. It's not Vlogtober day one. I haven't really shown you guys anything too Halloween-y and it's like 100 degrees out. But these are cute, the little doggy houses. Oh, Lady in the Tram. The Aristocats. Hey, tell friends. I went to the rescue, keeping my water ice cold. We had a nice time. I have a work event to go to this evening, so um, we're going to probably just chill a little bit and then we're here tomorrow. You got your water? Yeah. Oh, you got your little uh Yeah, I brought sloth, two of them. Slothy. Oh. Handy. Yeah. Crank that up. But anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Happy Talk to you